your finest hour has arrived. We believe that marriage is an ordained and is ordained by God. We believe that it's a sacred hour, that God himself instituted it in the quiet bowels of Eden when he brought woman to man and declared that it's not good for man to be alone. And it was there that that wedding ceremony was performed and declared by God. And he simply said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they shall become one. Kelly Catherine Harris. As we stand here before God, I make a promise to you. I promise to love you, respect you, protect you, and stand by your side in everything you do for the rest of my life. I thank God for answering my prayers by putting you in my life, and I promise not to take that for granted. As we go forward in life, I look forward to making decisions together and us creating a life that both of us have dreamed of. I love you. Honey, I choose you. I'll choose you over and over and over without hesitation. In faith, honesty, and love, I take you to be my wedded husband. I pledge to share with you God's plan for our lives together, united in Christ for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, in joys and in sorrows, until death do we part. I promise you all of this and more, with God's help to strengthen and guide me as your supportive wife. I promise to love, respect, protect, and trust you, and give you the best of myself, for I know that together we can build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. I vow to be your shoulder to lean on and make the most of every moment as your companion in life. I vow to celebrate with you every chief's victory, comfort you when they lose. I vow to try to shorten my long stories and to tell you that I love you every day because I do. I vow to give you all that I have, myself and my love. Now let's make some babies, honey.